Malaysia versus New Zealand. Who do you guys think is going to win? Probably New Zealand, right? New Zealand opted into the mirror. No, but New Zealand saw that he wasn't. Realized he probably will now. Yeah. They'll just both wet. First of all, that's a W if Japan does not have a f***ing Taco Bell. Good. No wonder f***ing Japan is so f***ing amazing. They're just going to try and avoid him. Nidon's not successfully doing that. Another one onto J003. Nice! Oh one my one god! Two. Color one Hex! One and another one. Oh, oh my one. god, no. dude! Oh, Holy oh, shit! Oh, <laughs> Color Hex got the assist on that one. Yeah, not bad. Here comes the changes now. Echo, Mercy. It's a pocketed Echo as well. They really want this. Even the really cast coming in through. Yeah. Just, just a rocket. Well, it's already a duel, but just firing them off into nowhere, huh? Just hoping for it. Keeping hit. each other busy. Color Hex should not opt to that duel at all and just no. start firing on other members. And like look that. at that. Like Immediately, that. two on to game for a dude and drops him. Finn does go down. JW3 getting on top of that. Can't raise yourself, baby. No, there's Alex no way he's going to win against that. Farah against Echo? I don't know. I think Echo should win that 100%. Oh, yeah, like down here if he's not careful. Else? There we go. August has it. Where did Numeros go? That was really weird. You saw no healing with JL. Yeah. Numeros took a bunch of damage. He's also down. Felt Got like that should not happen. Oh, and Fantasy just takes the dive. No, that was a call. Malaysia looked like they had kind of started to turn that fight around just a little, just a tad. And yet, not the case. Not and the case. Yet. Mordecai, appreciate the massive five get the subs as well, really my dude. Absolutely insane. insane. And by the way, the Cucumber Bro, appreciate the massive three months. Right. And honestly, why not? Love well, to see the, why, the why not would be Jim and I can just bail Fantasy out with a Suzu. Jay can just get the kill on to Color X while that's happening. There's Yo, what is what really is Malaysia doing, bro? Why are they taking like so go. long? Fantasy taking some damage. Game Pro dude has found power in the Tracer duel. That's a decent start. Color Hex still with Numenor's. Oh Jordan. my! <laughs> Double pity. Straight on to it. Now looking to get in on Numenor's going aggressive. Rocket Barrage on the Fantasy as Jim and I have gone down. Cut, cleanse, tag. When you're Does dead. Co is Color Hex on the Overwatch so, the I mean, chat? You can't really do most things when you're dead, actually. You can decompose. A clean yeah, right? Meta coming through from Color Hex on Not today. anymore? The CAC's still there, and we're about to finish the round. It's yeah. Just about there now. Uh, New Zealand just kind of walking it in on this one. Gemini oh, will be able to get away so, here. Suzu? There we go. Numenor's already picked off early. Deduplicate for J W three. I didn't even catch who was able to copy. See, that this is the, these are the Color games Hex. that That's are kind of are kind of resident Finn sleeper though. The the one hundred to zero. Oh, no way. No, Finn, Finn got off. two kills, bro. <laughs> Finn got three <laughs> kills on Mercy. Nope. What an absolute banger from Finn. And a hundred zero. Love to see it's it. Hundred to, to zero. See it. I'm a I'm from here. I'm biased unashamedly, and I'm happy to see it. You are quite shameful. I'm usually quite shameful, but un I'm unashamed about it. So that went quite poorly for Malaysia, even trying to counter out the fire directly. That's about as direct as you can go. Like, Echo Mercy, pocketed Echo, plus the Cassie Man. Well, wow, they threw. They, the only thing they could th throw further than that. Demon! I appreciate the massive prime stuff, my friend. Just thinking also Fantasy on the Diva. I think that would have yeah. been, been it. After that, there's not more that you can That reminds do. me when I was playing Quick Play yesterday and the, like the Ana would kept nanoing the Mercy every time the Mercy had. Do a little bit of cosplay here. Yeah. Out comes the Arrest from round number two. Color Hex still feeling it with the pocketed. Yeah. Uh, and you can. You can totally yeah. fire on Sanctum here. The, uh, the skybox is high enough in the long shots down here as well. They've got part of help with that, so it's actually quite a lot. Are they changing? No, they're just rotating. Quick rotation as well. Uh, I mean, they're still going to be stuck. If they, if they go through the drop down here, they're going to be stuck underneath. Yeah, the map. I don't, I don't think knows. Malaysia yeah, should be running. Which is swapping sides of the map, or, yep, yeah, okay. Keep going. They're still gone. Reaper May, uh, Reaper May, they're playing a really close aggro comp against an Ash with a Pharah. Getting right up in Malaysia's business. That's an interesting wall. Double three going cold. This fantasy very low. Does find J Kappa. Numenor is actually going to be the first one to go down. Rocket Barrage available for Color Hex. Still has the mercy in the bottom. Needs to get turfed off. Doesn't need it. News is it. Here we go. It's going to get one. Looking to pick up Gemini as well. We'll be able to get that right in the end. Then J Double Jesus Christ, Color Hex. This, this, you know what this looks like, chat? This looks like one of my... And I don't want to be mean. But this, wait, you can sit there? What the fuck? This looks like my bronze versus fucking top 500. My top 500 is fucking boost, stat boosted. 
Because Malaysia were going all the way around Z the map. They were going Z around the world Appreciate the massive prime sub, my friend. Now hey, comes the cast one more time. Hoping for a little bit more this time. Note that Par is still on the air, so quite a decent amount of outrange there. Coalescence to so thrown forward towards J-Cap. Not feeling too Thoughts much Thoughts on re-watching all the games again Fitting instead of watch, playing Overwatch? No, I'm not going to do that. I'm trying to watch all the games oh. once. Here we go. Gemini down pilot. After, low, after low, I finish these APAC games, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to play Overwatch. Fantasy is a sitting duck. I actually kind of miss it. Also sitting, not quite sure what kind of bird he is. Yeah, I, haven't play, I haven't played it in what? Sparrow, three, no. two weeks? A hummingbird. Nice pulse not bad pulse at all. Wow, oh my game god, right. Game Pro, dude. Finally goes down. That actually opens things up here for Malaysia. He's healing a three down on this. Well, they are respawning and they have to back out a lot. Malaysia Have you seen your name? Uh, Levy, Levy Lurks? A full four -man squad. We'll be able to get I appreciate cap. the massive uh, new tier one sub, my friend. The J Cap. They didn't actually get J Cap. He was still alive. No, out he comes. Two ultimates on board for New Zealand. Bob too far away there as well. Bob would have been good. Woo! Quick catch from Power. It's game throw, dude. J003 on the Cassidy. Not finding much going down to J Cap and New Zealand. Very clean fight to pick the point back up. So Game Pro dude, bit of a flash of brilliance there, and it gives Malaysia 19%. But J Cap uh, just as brilliant and doesn't He's... require in brief moments of inspiration. It's a consistent thing. New Zealand didn't even need to go for the bob there either. That was just a little bit extra. They just wanted a sixth member. They kind of uh, out of ultimates now, which is a little bit unfortunate. Wait, for them. chat. I just. Color Hex will just Ooh. continue the chase, and Game Pro do to know where to run there. Very clean. Rocket Barrage available. Just going to go straight in, drop that onto Fantasy 99. There was a touch in there. I'm not sure who quite was able to get it, but at any rate, nobody there to follow it up. I think it must have been Gemini. I was just going to say, I wish, I wish they would stream these games NA friendly, but they don't stream it NA friendly. Very one-sided. The thing is, if you want to go to Circuit Royale, well, J. Cav is very happy to pull out his base here, which is also the Sigma. Oh! It has been a hot minute since Color Hex has also played any Widowmaker, so this is uh, oh, uh, oh. maybe a challenge. Color Hex just, I was going to say, barely lives, so Fantasy will make sure he doesn't. J003 just clicking some heads. Yep. Oh! oh one. And a big, very big head there on Sigma. Yeah. Asian 003 out playing cards in Casino Royale. This is what this is. Monty Casino Royale. Colorhex and silly off the widow, as I mentioned. J003 watches my streams, chat. Having to pull a bit of double duty. J003, J3, and uh, widow JP. He hasn't really had his hero pull for some time, so we're moving off that quick, that pick really quickly. I would have been su surprised he's not on the Hanzo. I think that would have been the natural next choice. Let's go for a Genji. And it's not a well supported Genji. Typically, if you want to go Genji, your support oh. needs to also be break. Rest in pepperonis, J Cat. Not sure what happened there. Continuing on forward. I really want to see Color Hex get a deflate headshot off of J003. That would just. That's one of the only ways that you can. Yeah. I mean, it's the only way you win that matchup without diving in. It's a real classic. It never gets old. We've also got Shimada Ball here. Not often that we get to see that one. Relive the cinematic. You can't relive the cinematic anymore, actually. New Zealand is slowly getting some space back after kind of struggling early on. Nothing to counter this one out, so Ooh. just a free window from Malaysia to claim this fight without too much issue. Yeah, finding par with that, and uh, yeah, this is a very surprising slowdown from New Zealand. They look a little bit lost well, right now. Because they're not playing double sniper, and Color X's value on the Genji is uh, pretty low here. Like, especially with very the dead. Low. And again, like I said, if you're going to play the Genji, you need the Brig support. To really is it bad if I give my cat an oatmeal ice the cookie? The what the hell together. is that? Flying space for color hex, and then you can hard pop up color hex with the with the cookies you throw as well. All right, they've got themselves a flux. They've nearly got themselves a dragon blade, and they use the window to get a little bit of space. Sector committing that one out, and there we we'll go. Take the court. Uh, okay, that's an interesting combination there. They use the flux to lift sector out of the dragon strike. Par does go down early in the bout here, and Finn, goodness gracious, New Zealand just no answer to these snipers as J-Cat gets absolutely nothing out of his flux as yeah. well, 
and loses his life. Oh! Not the back line here, but I would have assumed it's Jacob, not Jacob, Cutler Hex is going to oh. try really hardy and try, he will. Cutler Hex? Why is but he not on the Overwatch League anymore? DM whenever. A Fatal Error, so appreciate the massive prime sub, my friend. And Zero, appreciate the massive tier 3 for 6 months. And then between Finn and Sector, I can't remember which one of those two is, is really a flexible player. None of them might be Sector, actually. You'd sub Finn out so that you can keep August in to play one of these two, but uh, in any case, here we are. I think the lack of the Hans or the lack of the second sniper probably hurts New Zealand more than anything else, though. Yeah, really feeling the difference there. Pargo has the overclock. We'll go ahead and commit that. Has the window out from Gemini that he's got to deal with. Trying to get those long shots down. Every time he pops his head out, both snipers really have his mark. Kalahek's still waiting for an opportunity to go in for a dive. Needs to get something. Needs to get a bit of a squishy member. Get some resets in on the dashes. Time. This is an odd spot for New Zealand. Now, Kyle Hakes has to go in with this blade. They find Fantasy. Oh, they lose it. Oh, for goodness sake. They got the cap, but they... Uh, all right, this is... This is... This is certainly the a game of is, The problem is, Malaysia didn't have to pull that far back. Four members just, like, vacated. Stranger than that is... Okay, Pa ults. He's overclocking. Gemini responds with the window, but then they abandon the window. You could just... It should be Pa hiding for his life. It should be the other way around. Pa needs to respect Oatmeal the window. Oatmeal chocolate chip cookies. Window, not four members of Malaysia just running away. Look at how much space they've been able to take as well, just because the only thing left... Why can't you just have a normal chocolate and chip and believe, cookie, bro? Uh, I believe it was Gemini. Why oh, you gotta get oatmeal uh, in it? Also alive at the time. Sektar does get picked off by Game Pro Dude. This has become a very unusual game. Kalex has now sat on a blade for a long, yeah. long time. I, I would have imagined he would have had to pull that last fight, but they only needed to kill Fantasy the Cap, so I guess not. Yeah. Now they can... Look towards blading for this particular point at some Ooh. stage. I actually don't understand how people nice can like raisins. Nice dodge on Gotta the rock. as well. Drop down and there we go. No immortality field deployed to save him. It was further back. Didn't quite catch fantasy, unfortunately. It was the slam down that killed him. So with him dead, it's the same thing. Malaysia just have to get forced way, way back. It's a shame because they don't have other offense as well. It's like... You know, a transcendence in that particular area would have been fantastic. Both of those ends have kind of had slow ult charge on that. Dragon Strike was slightly too far away. It's finally available now. Just looking for a shot onto JCAP there, not finding it. Again, Immortality Fields not in play anymore. Fantasy nearly is a flux. Is dead though. And th I mean, surely Color Hanks goes for a blade now. No, no, he's you don't still need just it. holding. Yeah, he doesn't, but he's. I mean, if all Jeez, you do is oh kill my god, you dude. Can just you Good that. Genji gameplay is very satisfying to watch. Three times though, it's really all it's Thank been. you for the Hercules updates. You just kill Fantasy once and you cap three times. Well, twice really. Look at him but three, three fight world. wins. I should say, not three caps. What kind of a duck is purple anyway? Hey, the there's the guy. The rubber kind. It's color hex. Well, he's certainly still got a blade. Uh, that yeah, much I normally, say. normally I would say, man, he's holding for too long. Here, I was just like, well, he just hasn't needed to use it. Does die. Bit funny. And now it'll be funny if he swapped. Fantasy. The play just never eventuates. <laughs> yeah. But he won't. Again, she's actually legitimately good here, so. Yeah, might as well, might as well. This is a pass the part where the snipers really have total unbounded control of JW3 off the Widowmaker now as well. Of course, over onto the Sojourn. Ah, still is that overclock. A lot of ultimates actually on the table for New Zealand. But it's New Zealand here. pushing, so Malaysia need to be the ones to do something about this first. They are forced to answer this, because we're free pushing. All right, right on in. No delay there, Transcendence Four. Man. Ooh, Holy shit, the bro. The ults are popping. The ults are popping. The blade. He finds Gemini, finds Numinos. Really getting the kills collected. Fantasy low may yet go down. Not, certainly not to the blade, but will go down to par getting the body shot. That was a 4v5, by the way, because uh, I remember in New Zealand, I believe one of the supports was solo pushing the payload the entire way through. Very tasty. And oh, Game Pro dude, nice barely rock. getting out of the gate. Yeah, fantastic catch. JW3 not going to last long either. Gemini don't certainly even touch. Not. And they went from being really on the back foot, possibly not even. I wonder why they only showed Sword running Genji yet. gameplay. Well, they finally got I feel the they, the they only showed tanks and DPS you know, uh, point of views because I guess Zealand. that's why when people like to see they want to see the kills and everything they don't really do a lot of support pov because support so pov scared. is the whole team just backs out fantasy obviously holds the front line on the payload but he's the only one in any position to uh. maintain that position so as soon as he dies cap's gone and 
Malaysia just gets snowballed from that point on. New Zealand continue. But some, through, sometimes it's good. Sometimes it's good. Kale sometimes. Now find better angles sometimes. as he's no longer playing a single lane long sight lines. Like and when you're playing Ana. The most confusing part because you know. Or C maybe. Ana Zenyatta. Maybe a little bit of Kiri. Any attacking team. I got a question. And yet Malaysia couldn't quite hold it up. Didn't even stop payload. I got a question. What is the, what is the like lore of this map? Why are they escorting? A race car, and off the side you can see race cars like actually driving. So that, so that you can actually um, you gotta push it onto the track. And what's, what's going on? They're actually part of the race, but this this car you have to push. Uh, it doesn't have a functioning engine. You just right, have to push. Right, it's very slow. Moving. It's like a it's like a Flintstones car. You have to kind of uh, manually. Wait, get what is the lore behind this map? Ones. Why do you have to push a race car down, into a lobby down, of like a hotel? Still, are you? DNF or you are still believe, in the race? I believe he'd be disqualified. I believe even if he had got it over the line, uh, he, he wouldn't have. It wouldn't have counted. So your engine must be working. I think it's more that you have to be driving it. You got to be so, in it. So the pit people, what if the pit crew came out and pushed you? You're still driving. You're still in the car. Uh, there's other rules that prevent them from going out to the track. Right. Well, the higher people just to oh. fill the track. Oh damn. If they start on the track, then it's not an issue. Just get in the way, huh? Well, certainly that's what's happening here. There's cars in the way, too. Yeah, just a lot of things in the way on this certainly one. certainly is. No, yeah, terrible time. New Zealand, see, the race. position here is so different. New Zealand, are, like, they're confident to get so aggressive. aggressive. And actually, you know, Ooh. fair point. Jay does punish that. So that is that is what you got to do. You know, you see New Zealand rock up towards your spawn. You have an opportunity to get a punish. That's what you got to do, because Otherwise, a team feeling very comfortable like New Zealand is going to try and push you as far as they can, even defensively. So show the respect here. Kalex also, by the way, now on the Hanzo, which I respect. I think this I don't is know why, but I feel like Widow just is a lot uh, different in, in Overwatch 2 than Overwatch 1. I don't know. It, I remember we used to. I feel like I used to hit so many more shots on Overwatch 1 with Widow, then Overwatch 2 comes along, I and I, I just, I just can't do it. Jeff Shimada, who just handles the accounts, runs the books. He's not like a ninja or assassin or anything. Ooh, Jcap down as well. So, bit of an opening here now for Malaysia. Hello there. Well, they're really pushing along. I mean, New Zealand still hang around. They're, they're 4v5. Ooh, losing Maybe New Zealand have hung out for a little too long because now they're going to get cleaned up or at risk of force out the extra window from Gemini, which is something. So they can't afford to lose extra members. Sector. Okay, he I was, was going to say, if Sector gets out of life here, that would be pretty tragic for Malaysia not having the clean yeah, up. Yeah, he nearly was dead and just nobody was particularly looking at him at that particular moment. They do find Color Hex late, at least. But they can retake with yeah. 4. So New Zealand can still retake on 4, which they're currently kind of doing with Jacob. Just holding Someone explains the Circuit Royale. Circuit Royale. So Circuit Royale lore here. By the looks of things, Flux is available from oh, Jacob. Good dodge, what a draw. Connect. What is oh, that, that's Melody? a lot. You tell me, JW3 lifted sky high, dropped down, Sector is dead, but it got the immortality field off first. That helped New Zealand out just a little bit. Numenor's is transcendence long since run out. Finn pops his in response to Dragons of Game Pro Dude. Speaking of which, is down to Palahex. The defense coming through for New Zealand. Numenor's down as well. Fantasy. Oh, what an outplay. Yeah, fantastic. Gemini needs to get oh. out here. Good punish again. Kalahex wanted to chase maybe slightly green. Someone said field. it's a multi multi-factual and likely getting fleshed out in the PvE kind of stuff coming later this honest. year. That, that was, was eight case, months ago. What was, uh, what was on the defense? Sniper on the offense here as well. The one that's Maxi kind Millions of base of operations the these days is in Monaco. And now one minute, no do one. or die for Malaysia here if they lose this one. Not much of a pathway to qualification for them. Very critical defense for New Zealand on the other side of that, keeping their tournament hopes alive. Obviously, uh, they will still be relying on other teams uh, getting into tiebreaker situations, but still, you've got to play for the opportunity, and New Zealand certainly are. Ooh, really felt that one whiz past your ears. Par with the overclock. And one of the mecha the pilots, the white hair guy down. named oh, Jaehoon, won as the call sign now. casino and was a formula yeah, one driver prior to oh, becoming a member of the board. mecca Dude, so all even stevens now it's just color x and j03 it's gonna be first a flux out from jcap dumps fantasy with it j03 down and it's all gonna start unraveling less than 10 seconds left jcap living within a lick of death there Dragon Strike across from Color Hex just oh. to stop those respawners from running up and contesting the cart gemini not gonna get close enough hi finn how you doing 
Hi, I'm doing good. Uh, I was about to question why it was so dark there, but I realized it is actually nighttime. I don't know why yeah. I was surprised by that. <laughs> uh, how are the boys feeling after that? That was a, a bit of a must win for one you guys, year. given how last Let's week went. So no, but Prison Mass have won a whole year, my friend. Coming back. Yeah, I mean, it was good to get a win. Um, I'm not sure, like, what the chances are of us still qualifying up, but yeah, it's it's so good to come in here and win. Australia qualifies, right? Well, it, it would require you to beat Australia. That's another must win oh, for he's you. New so, Zealand. Uh, that is no longer just going to be uh, a fun trans Tasmanian. Does sort New of Zealand not qualify? Up, you need to beat Australia now to have a chance at all to have a shot. So, how do you feel about that eventual matchup? As that, I believe, is going to be your final game of this tournament. Yeah, Damn, um, they do not like qualify. Is probably the best team in the group so we'll have to like go above to win that one but uh well, we'll have to see on the day it'll be a good game hmm. yeah and i guess if unfortunately you do not qualify through has the team found that this has been a really good learning experience for them like with training and that like is this just you know in your careers as overwatch players is this kind of an experience that's been really beneficial for you guys yeah, it's, it's definitely been like a really fun few months leading up to the tournament. Um, I think personally for me, like these are the best teammates I've played with, so it's given me like a really great opportunity to to learn and um, get a chance to play with some like really great players. So uh, yeah, it's been a, it's been a really good time and I've Yo, really enjoyed it. Yo, there needs I'm to sure be more Overwatch World well. Cups, bro. Really you can't have another four year gap there, or three year uh, gap. I've got a quick question. Uh, here as well so obviously from week one to week two you've had another opportunity now that you've played some of these teams to go in a little bit more detail with your prep what what do you guys feel are the biggest things that you've actually changed and worked on and improved between uh, last week and this week um I, I think mostly we've just focused on playing what we're good at instead of trying to like force the meta i think in a tournament like this the meta is not really defined as as hard as like maybe in overwatch league it is so we can definitely get away with playing more of our style. Like I think you saw the Farah today is more mm -hmm. into like mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. the mechanical like skills of our teammates. So yeah, I think you can expect more stuff like that um, in our in our last game, or not. Maybe we'll play something else. <laughs> so, uh, with absolute confidence. And speaking of Kalex, did seem very confident on that pick. Thank you very much for your time, Finn. Congratulations to the boys and best of luck moving forward. Hopefully, you're still in contention when that Australia Trans Tasman bout comes up on the docket on the final day. Mm. Oh, thank you, guys.